All right, guys, we've done it. I've got a huge snapping turtle here inside the kayak. Now, we need to get it out. Get your camera in focus. This is a very big turtle. I gotta be extra careful here. Okay, here we go, ready? All right, it's coming down in the water. Whoa! There we go, let me get the kayak out of the shot. There we go. All right, you good, feeling good? There it is, the common snapping turtle. Just its shell gives it that prehistoric looking design. Are you ready? Here we go, it's coming up. That is a solid 50 pound dragon right there. Look at that face and those jaws mean business. Now a turtle of this size, if it manages to bite you, is not gonna let go. And whatever it's bitten onto, trust me, you will not be getting it back. And look at those eyes, golden yellow with the black pupil, looking at me right now saying, go ahead, coyote, get close enough and I'll take your nose. And let me get a little bit closer to the camera. It's okay, you're good. Let me get right there in front of the lens so you can really see how ancient looking this creature is. Now, they're masters of camouflage. So watch this, when I dip it down beneath the surface, the turtle completely disappears into the muck and the murk. And just like that, you think that it's gone. But of course, they can be lurking just below you. Uh oh, you okay there? It's almost trying to grab onto your camera. And then of course, when you have them up and out of the water, they are as ancient looking as it gets. So do this. I'm gonna keep the turtle's attention over here and look at those front claws. Look at how massive the claws of this reptile are. So it's not only the jaws that you need to worry about, but also those razor sharp talons. Look at that the length of the neck, and I don't want to get any closer than that. That turtle's thinking, okay, give me your hand and I will make mincemeat of it. Now, one thing that separates the snapping turtle from other turtle species is the bottom of the shell, which is called the plastron. Let's take a look at that real quick. I hear you hissing right at me. Now, the plastron is significantly smaller in snapping turtles than it is in other species. Can you see that? That small plastron is what has caused them to evolve with all these incredible defensive tactics. So the claws and the jaws are part of what keeps them protected against any potential predator. But trust me when I say a turtle this size has no predator other than man. Well, I would say we did a pretty awesome job today, heading out on the water to catch and get up close for the cameras, the one and only mud dragon, the common snapping turtle. All right, buddy, I know you wanna get back out there and hunt for some fish, so we're gonna let you go, and we're gonna call it a day. Awesome work, and thank you so much for being a part of the crew today. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Woo, what a catch.